background. He's kind of like from you, like you, from a small town in Texas. He walks in here. The population of this place is bigger than where he's from. <laughs> and then to walk in and do what? What did you think of what he did in there? I loved it. I loved every second of it. Uh, I, I told Mickey that that was. I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm up cheering for him every pitch that he made because I realize how tough it is for guys like us to do it, do what he just did. Uh, but you got to give credit where credit's due. He, he he stuck to a game plan and he and he executed pitches. I mean, he didn't he didn't get rattled at all. He, he showed big heart, I guess, <laughs> word I can say right now. But um, he went out there and did what he's capable of doing. He didn't try to go out there and do anything more because of the postseason game because he was facing nine righties, eight righties in the lineup. He went out there and you know what? Just treat us another game and go out there and try to execute pitches and, and, and compete. And, and, and when you get guys like that, you have we have 25 guys like that right now that go out there and just compete through the game doing it. It's a pretty special game. Is it almost fitting that that's the game you win with him on the hill? Just the way the season, this crazy I, yeah. season is going. I, yeah, it, it, it really is. Now that you say that, it really is because we haven't been at full strength all year long. To miss a guy like Michael Brantley and, and, and Jan Gomes for as much as we have this year, to, to be able to be where we're at right now is a testament to leadership here, um, from from Tito to the front office to to the veteran guys that are here to Mike Napoli. I mean, I, you can't say enough about the signing of Mike Napoli. That guy, he's won everywhere he's been. Um, and he, he comes here and he has that mindset and he has that that drive to try to win. Um, what he's brought this clubhouse has been. I mean, you can't describe what he brings to this clubhouse right now. Also, I mean, you know how much this organization values draft picks because that's how they have to build. they got to build right. from within and supplement. So the fact that they gave up as much as they did to get Miller, I mean, did you feel like as a player in this room that made a statement to you guys? Oh, no, no doubt about it. I have a different view on prospects than what obviously <laughs> front office people have a view on prospects because um, I was never one. Yeah, yeah. A lot of us in here were never prospects, but... Um, so, so to me, you get a guy that's a proven commodity. Um, I've done it for a few years now in the bullpen. Um, you can give up what you want to give up, but to have that guy right now, you, it's tough to be in the situation right now without a guy like that. Do you know much about Salina, Texas, where, where Merritt went to high school? A little bit, yeah. A little I, bit? I, I've, I've heard of it. I've heard of it. <laughs> It's kind of like White House, Texas. You don't really hear much about White House, but yeah, I've heard of Salina. I think it's Salina, Salina? Texas. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but yeah, he, yeah, they Howard House football player. Yeah, yeah. The winningest coach. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the winningest high school football coach. I know where Salina and, and, uh, and whenever I was in high school, Salina and South Lake Carroll were huge powerhouses. But I was in high school. So now it's where Ryan Merritt's from too. No doubt about it. He's, he's